time to get on the spandex and whack on the capes. It's Marvel Movie News. Welcome to Marvel Movie News, another week in the world Lord of off. everything Marvel, not just the MCU, but everything else in everything the, related, to related to Marvel movies. And well, look, there's some interesting stories this week, something to get our teeth into. And the first one we what got, got actually just happened overnight. Yep. They have announced at Avengers Affinity War that everybody, I know and everybody, yeah, including everyone. us, is amp for it's going to be released a week earlier yes. globally yes how and good is this it's amazing yeah. and in true of marvel yep. and robert downey fashion the way they released that information <laughs> was classic and if you have actually look on the screen here you've got the twitter conversation between of uh marvel and robert, robert downey. downey jr and as you can see robert downey jr asked can we see it any earlier yep marvel goes anything for you mr stark and he said, great, with friends. And then there was, and as you can it. read it. Yep. And then, boom, here we are. We've Straight got up. it a week earlier. How good so is that? great news for everybody who's looking awesome. forward to this film. So, release it. What's the date? April? April 27th. April now, 27th. People put it in your calendar. Oh, in the diary. Oh, mate. Got to pre-order those tickets today. Today, yeah. Just absolutely. For sure. So, super pumped about that, Rick. That looks good. Now, we're going to move on to story two here. This is a really interesting one in the world of Fox. Fox. Now we know Fox hey. is in charge of the X Men universe and the <laughs> piece of crap. <laughs> but they they've been doing really good stuff with their X Men stuff recently, especially they Logan, have. Deadpool, yep. been exceptional. It's getting there. They're moving ahead apparently now, all full steam ahead on developing Silver Surfer and nice. Doctor Doom. Movies. Ooh, Doctor Doom. Two very interesting characters, which I honestly, mate. I, I'm surprised they're as, getting their own movie. As long as uh, Julian Mann's not Doctor Doom, we'll be right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we actually get the suit right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. actually get his powers right. <laughs> yeah, you know. But we'll both right. these characters, as much as I love yeah. these two characters individually, um, I'm surprised they'd have their own standalone movie. I'm Usually, they're part of another. You know, you know, Doctor Doom is yeah, synonymous yeah. with Fantastic, Fantastic Four, Four. Yeah. and so was the Silver Surfer. So it'd be interesting, interesting to how the, the way they go. And when's this getting released? Well, well, mate, they're in development. It could be 2020, 2021. You don't know at yeah. this point, you know. But at the end of the day, I mean, Silver Surfer, does that mean that's kind of like a space movie? Kind Who of has to be. Direction and Doctor Doom, he's like the, the king of Lefaria. So yeah, he's got his own land. Is that like yeah, a, own, that's right. a royal kind of story, you know? Who knows which direction? Who knows? Who knows? But I love the fact that we live in a world, Rick, where they're going to take punts from characters like this that would never well, even be I think it's considered a good direction. for a standalone yep. film. So, yep. great one. stuff there. Moving on again, mate. We're moving on to into back to the MCU with Captain Got Marvel. Marvel. Now, I'm very interested to see where they're going to go because this is Marvel's version of going, this is There's our a- first... A uh, female-led superhero yep. film. We've seen bits and pieces of, you know, shots on screen. Yeah, we're like hearing in the, the original yeah, the suit, suit and everything. So, yeah, yeah. So, but apparently the screenwriters come out this week when, when they were asked, you know, what kind of film is Captain Marvel? And uh, she's gone out and said it's an action comedy. Isn't that like most of the well kind of MCU not movies? Not really. You know, I think what I mean, she's basically like, insinuating is that it is very much going to be reminiscent of the action comedies of the 1990s. Okay. Because that's when the film's set. Yep. So you're going to find Captain Marvel's very sassy, very funny kind of superhero, which will be good to go because Wonder Woman was fantastic. We all love Wonder Woman, even though I don't really want to talk about DC because they fucked just about everything up. (laughs) Um, But essentially, it's good to see they're going to go their own direction with Captain Marvel. So Brie Larson... I've never seen her really I, do a lot of comedy. No. So, nah. let's just see how it kind of works. I like her. I think she's great. She's right, yeah. I so, think she's got the right kind of look. She, in my head, I can absolutely see it as Captain seen, Marvel. But we're not going to know. Actress, start, we'll start showing us some uh, footage. So, that'll be she's interesting right. too. All right. Now, oh. in the world of TV, all right, Marvel's been making some really big inroads. 
in the TV. TV. They have. They have been. DC, in fact, probably been no, more successful more. in the TV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Marvel a little bit yeah, behind on it. But, but Marvel has been had some interesting shows of late. The Gifted was a really good mm-hmm. first series, and so was Legion. Phenomenal. Very confusing with Legion. Like, I love confused, Legion. I but yeah, adore that show. Film. But yeah, you've got it. Yeah, yeah. Which season two is coming out very mm. soon. But um, the IDW published Lock and Key comic will be coming out. Nice. Now Lock and Key is a very uh, is different a, type of not a horror based comic. Uh, sort of. Well, yeah, and yeah. yeah. I mean, the reason we're talking about it on yeah. this show too is because what Marvel movie news also did capture some of the independent comic mm. scene as well. Just no DC. Um, so essentially, what I like about them it centres around basically. Three, three kids, well, mm. kind of teens, kind yeah. of teens, siblings, who after a gruesome murder of their father, because someone's got to die usually yeah. in the origin of a superhero show, they move to a home in Maine uh, and they find the house is magical keys that grant them a vast array of potentially Into dangerous different. powers. So what the Locke family doesn't know, there's also a devilish demon who lives in the shadows of their home who also desires the key. Okay. So this shouldn't be confused with very, Cloak and Dagger because yeah. when you talk about Lock and Key, people think about Cloak and Dagger. Cloak and Dagger, are a great Marvel uh, comic series, but Lock and Key, look, it is an independent. It's not directly it's not related, yeah. but certainly a show that's it's definitely. It's not that old though, is it? It's not an old comic, so no. It was no. basically created ten years ago, I think. So now. it's not, yeah. So yeah, that's good. Absolutely, oh, absolutely brilliant. All right, and, and oh. finally this week, <laughs> we've got to talk about another little world in the Can Twitterverse. We... Yeah, is James Gunn is back really on prolific on Twitter. He's always Loves engaging it. there, and so is Mark Hamill. Well, wouldn't you know it? Someone likes yeah. chocolate, someone likes peanut butter, put them together, and it looks like we've got a match made in heaven here. Because if you see <laughs> this following another Twitter exchange here between a fan asked James Gunn, would he do himself a huge favour and get Mark Hamill in Guardian of the Galaxy uh, Volume 3? Do it. James Gunn comes back and says basically, you he lives right around the corner. <laughs> we can have a chat. So basically, Mark Hamill's replied, yep, that would be amazing. They saw it still out, so it looks like we may see Mark Hamill in Guardian Galaxy. In Forest another space Street. movie. That's amazing. In Mark another Hamill. space movie. <laughs> <laughs> but big bigger, surprise. Who's bigger than know? that to get big Mark surprise. Hamill. That's awesome. Uh, that is awesome. But, you know, for yeah. the fan base, it's huge. Yeah, right? yeah, it's huge. That's that's absolutely huge. huge. Well, that's all the stories we really wanted to cover this week in Marvel movie news. news. So, uh,. What did you think, guys? Let us know what you thought of the stories this week. Do you want us to talk about independent comics or only strip to stick with Marvel? I promise you, no DC. And besides that, let us know what you thought of the stories. Give us feedback. We love it. How do they do that, Rick? Guys, all you need to do is give us a comment down below for the, the video. Hit that subscribe button for the channel. We'd really, really appreciate that too. And and just follow us all on our social media sites as well and just share the love, guys. Just comment, share do it all. We appreciate it. Fantastic, guys. See you next week. See ya. Get on your tights and your capes. It's... Yeah, you're so high. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say something. We're going to say... All right, all right. Okay. okay. Let's say tights and capes. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, ready? Let's do it. All right, yep. It's time to put on the spandex and pull out that cape. It's Marvel Newsweek. No, fuck that. That's Marvel, me. Marvel, yeah. yeah, Marvel yeah movie, movie news. news. Oh. Okay. okay. We should do a blooper for real. That would be good. Yeah.